And this week is consequential. CBS News has learned the U.S. believes Vladimir Putin could invade Ukraine by week's end. The Pentagon says the Russian president hasn't made a final decision, but that should he choose to, he can move in with, quote, little or no warning. That's part of the reason the State Department is closing the embassy in Kiev and moving diplomats out of harm's way. We also learned today that Putin flooded the region with thousands of more troops and Russian units in Belarus moved into attack positions positions along Ukraine's northern border. And while the Russian buildup points to some kind of military action, President Biden and British Prime Minister Boris Johnson says a window for diplomacy remains open. Now, invasion fears rattled financial markets and energy experts warn that a war will push gas prices even higher than they are now. CBS's Holly Williams is going to lead off our coverage tonight in Kiev. Good evening, Holly. Good evening, Nora. The State Department says it's temporarily closing the U.S. Embassy here in Kiev, Ukraine's capital, and moving operations to the city of Lviv near the Polish border as a security measure because of the, quote, dramatic acceleration in the buildup of Russian forces. Putin is ready to invade Ukraine. He wants to restore the Soviet Union. Arseny Yatsenyuk is Ukraine's former prime minister, and tonight he put the chance of a Russian invasion at 50%. It's up to him to decide whether he wants to be remembered as Adolf Hitler in the global history. Are you comparing Vladimir Putin to Adolf Hitler? If he decides to invade Ukraine, this is the copycat scenario of Adolf Hitler in 1939. But in Moscow today, perhaps a signal that President Putin's looking for an off-ramp from this crisis. Russia's foreign minister urged him to allow more time for diplomacy in a televised exchange. Yet Russia's still moving forward with military drills in Belarus and on the Black Sea. A US official told CBS News some Russian long-range artillery and rocket launchers have been moved into firing positions. Ukraine is now close to being encircled. U.S. officials say by roughly 130,000 Russian troops. The absence of panic in Ukraine is nothing short of surreal. Its people seem determined not to be intimidated. Commuters calmly made their way to work this morning, though Kiev's subway system is also effectively the city's biggest bomb shelter if there's an attack. It looks like business as usual, but scratch the surface and there's worry and a sense of being powerless. Andriy Taplienko is a well-known war correspondent on Ukrainian TV, reporting on Ukraine's conflict with Russian-backed separatists. Thousands of the fallen are honoured at this memorial. You have to be just prepared for this. Saplienko told us a Russian invasion would be a bloodbath. We fight for ourselves, for our, for our freedom, and this is the reason. This is the reason we will fight to the end. A U.S. official said today that once an attack begins, knowledge of what's happening will dramatically decrease because America will have no people on the ground and no reconnaissance planes in the air. Nora. Holly Williams in Kiev for us tonight. Thank you.